Have you ever done something really bad and felt remorse? Maybe as a child you lied to a parent to get out of trouble and then felt guilty later on and told the truth? We often take for granted that even young kids develop what we call a conscience. But some people don't. People who are born with or develop antisocial personality disorder, or ASPD, commonly known as sociopathy, don't have remorse over hurting others, and typically don't even know that what they did was wrong. For example, there was a case years ago where a child snapped the necks of half a dozen baby chicks. When asked why, he replied that it was the only way he could get them to stay still so he could play with them. The child did not feel any remorse and didn't know in general that what he may have done was wrong. Cases like this occur more often than we'd like to think. There are more than 200,000 diagnosed cases of antisocial personality disorder in the US, and many more people are thought to go undiagnosed. Chances are you know someone with the characteristics of ASPD. Victims of antisocial personality disorder typically act on impulses disregarding the safety of themselves and others, often leading to lies, thefts, or even hurting others with no feelings or remorse. While fictional media often portrays someone with ASPD as a crazy murderer, this is typically not the case. Antisocial personality disorder exists on a spectrum, meaning that it's a common misconception that all people with ASPD are horrible people who want to kill or harm others. This is rarely the case. People on the low end of the spectrum exhibit behaviors such as lying about small things to get out of confrontation with a spouse. Most of the time, People who suffer with this mental illness are treated and to avoid negative behaviors, and their negative behaviors are typically physically harmless, such as lies or stealing. If we are able to better educate ourselves about ASPD, rather than shunning people who are afflicted, we can eventually develop a better system of diagnosis and testing. Our society's misunderstanding of ASPD often starts with the difficulty in diagnosing it. ASPD cannot be diagnosed in children and begins early on in life, usually by the age of eight. Diagnosis conduct disorder in childhood. The diagnosis converts to ASPD at age 18 if antisocial behaviors have persisted. While chronic and long for most people with ASPD, the disorder tends to improve with advancing age. Earlier onset associated with a poorer prognosis. And in order for ASPD to be diagnosed in an adult, the adult must have been diagnosed with conduct disorder by the age of 15. Researchers are investigating adult onset ASPD. Meanwhile, diagnosis remains out of reach for some people, meaning appropriate treatment is out of reach as well. Undiagnosed people don't seek help and their issues get worse. There are many steps to being diagnosed with ASPD, and for some people, the track for getting diagnosed is out of reach. Moreover, as with many mental conditions, people stricken by this disorder don't recognize their behavior as anomalous and strongly deny a need for help, if family members suggest it. Therefore, they do not seek care. An estimated 4% of the population are diagnosed with ASPD and 19% of those children are diagnosed with CD. And the ratio of men to women who are diagnosed is six to four respectively for both. However, only a fraction of that 4% actually rise to a level of psychopathy. And 9.5% of the 19% of children actually move on to being diagnosed with ASPD. It is estimated that only 39% of people suffering from the effects of ASPD are diagnosed and able to seek treatment. Antisocial personality disorder is often caused by trauma in childhood, but it can also be caused by many other things as well, such as inheriting genetic predisposition from a parent or other unknown environmental factors. The fact that antisocial personality disorder can be brought about by environmental factors should be enough of an argument to change the process of diagnosis. Trauma and environmental factors can occur at any point in life. Antisocial personality disorder, or ASPD, is a common disorder that many people throughout the world suffer with. While there are many common misconceptions about the disorder, it is important that we do our research before making any claims or assumptions about a person who has this disorder. Antisocial personality disorder is common and cannot be cured, but we can do our part to help people who have this disorder by doing our best to fully understand it, along with any other mental disorders.